Hello, everybody, and welcome to today's episode of Bit Chicks Chat. My name is Hello. Laura, and, and I'm Amanda Quinn. And on today's podcast, we are tackling some misconceptions. <laughs> <laughs> so, interesting enough, a misconception, we just learned this, we were recently at a conference and they were talking about the difference between myths and misconceptions. Mm -hmm. So a myth is a lie that collectively people believe. Yeah. And a misconception is a lie that we tell ourselves. It's like an internal untruth, essentially. Like yeah. something that you, you've decided to believe that is not actually necessarily based on fact. So when we were talking about this whole, this whole concept, we were like thinking about some of the things like right now we're in the middle of our launch for our upcoming fitness and nutrition expert program, which starts on March 27th. So for anyone who's looking to get certified as fitness and nutrition coach, make sure to check it out at fitchexacademy.com. Uh, but we're in the middle of this launch and we were talking about this whole idea of misconceptions in the sense of what do people have as misconceptions about being a fitness instructor? Yeah. And there are tons because like literally we feel thousands of calls of people who are interested in taking, um, getting certified and becoming a fitness nutrition coach. And it's crazy though, how it's always kind of the same things that come up. So mm -hmm. we want to kind of like unravel these misconceptions, I guess, and also share with you guys some of our stories of what it, what really happens behind the scenes of getting certified and creating a fitness business and, um, and all that stuff. So that hopefully we can like, our goal is to hopefully take any of those misconceptions that you may already have. So those false beliefs that you have chosen yeah. or that you feel is a truth and show you and kind of like shatter that ch truth because like to make you understand and show you like, you know, what the possibilities actually are as opposed to you just being stuck. Cause that's the thing is like, I think we get stuck with misconceptions because we think that they are truth. So, well, and Exactly. And, but once you kind of hear them too, and once you get through it, you're like, whoa, this is so not what I thought. And it allows you to move forward in your own life. So mm -hmm. like, okay, we're, we kind of broke them down to our top three because we like numbers and we like to keep ourselves focused because <laughs> we like to chat. So we're like, okay, let's yeah. kind of bring We're best friends. We chat all the time. <laughs> I know. Actually, Graham, my fiance, he heard us recording podcasts and he's like, oh, I just thought you were literally, we were just talking to Amanda for like two hours. Just your regular talk. I, was like, I was like, yeah, cause this is actually how we talk when we're not like online. <laughs> um, but so we have to keep things sectioned or else our brains go into like 85 different directions. Mm -hmm. But the first misconception that I think of when, uh, that most people have when it comes to becoming a fitness instructor is they think that they can't make any money doing it. Yeah. Wrong. I don't know yeah. why there's, I feel like there's still, I know of, why, I know why that there's this misconception. Why? I, I totally know why. Like me, Cause I'm like, I don't know. why. <laughs> I'm going to tell you why. Okay. And I, and anyone that's listening, I, I hope you're raising your hand as I'm saying this. You're like, yes, that's what I believe because everyone believes that in order to be in this industry, that you're going to work for like someone else, like a gym or something like that, because that's the only opportunity. And I know that that's going to be another step that we talked about, but that you then can only make like $20 an hour because you're working for someone else. So they have this misconception that that's their limitation is like, I can only make $20 an hour or that they're going to have to hustle so hard because it's such a saturated market that there's no money because they can't get clients. Yeah. And that's, that's kind of like the twofold of like why people truly believe that they can't make money because they feel like it's either I'm going to work for someone and they're going to pay me $20 an hour if I'm lucky or, and like, that's kind of my glass ceiling. Or, yeah. that, or, or that um, I'm, gonna, I'm not going to have any clients because there is such a saturated market. So how would I make money if I can't find clients? Because I want to say too, which I very much enjoy that, why that is, because that clears up stuff for me too. Um, <laughs> I, I want to add to that too, though, is that I also think there's this constant, there's been this constant kind of like, not battle between like personal trainers and group fitness instructors, but it's almost like personal trainers, people have this, this misconception that they are almost better than group fitness instructors. I know even when we first yeah. started out, when we first were getting certified, we were going to get our, our certifications and we had to choose between personal training and group fitness. And we chose personal training because in our mind, we thought, oh, you can charge more, you can make more money. And you can make $50 an hour if you're doing yeah. it on your own. If you're a personal then, trainer, you can make like, yeah. exactly like 50 bucks an hour. And, but until we literally, it was like, 
the lights went off. Like we realized something that most people don't realize. And this was why we became so successful and we were yeah. able to build Bitchix so quickly and was scale our business. So scale our business fast. because we Guys. saw the power of group fitness. Yeah. And it's, and it takes away all of those myths like that we were just, or the misconception story that we were just talking about. Cause it's like, as a group fitness instructor, you now you're no longer trading your um, hours for dollars. Cause that's what personal yeah. training is it's trading hours for dollars because you're like, I'm going to charge you $50 for one hour of my time. So my time is worth $50. Yeah. You with group fitness. Yes. You're still doing one hour of a class or a half hour class. Sometimes in some cases, depending on the type of style of class you're teaching, but you can scale it now rather than working with one person with your glass ceiling being, you can only make that $50 because it's one person with group fitness. You know how the opportunity you can have, three people, maybe now, or five people, or 20 people, whatever the case may be. The other thing that I love about group fitness over personal training, sorry, I'm being really excited about this. No, one, jump in. Is that, is that also, not only is it good for you to scale your business, but this also allows for your clients to stick with it longer. The thing yeah. that happens with personal training is that a lot of clients love personal training as an experience, but they can't commit for a very long period of time from a budget perspective because it gets expansive yeah. or they can only come and see you once a week or you know what I mean? So then you are hustling for clients because they're only coming to see you once a week. So you're only making that $50 or week. they cancel on you. And then you lose that hour that, you know, you can't exactly versus if you're doing group fitness, you can maybe, maybe now instead of it, say you're even doing small group fitness, say you're even, weren't even thinking about doing 20 people, you're going to do it in your home and you only have enough space to have three people. So it's small group training. You can then charge them. Maybe then you're only charging them $30 a class. And then yep. all of a sudden now you're making $90 an hour. So you've upped your rate for that hour, that trade off essentially, but then you've also allowed it from a budget perspective to be more friendly for lack of a better word for them. So then they can commit longer. And then also, like you said, if somebody say one of them doesn't show up, which in group fitness, oftentimes I'd have 20 people in my class, about 17 would show up at all times. There'd always be about yeah. 10 people in the sink regardless, because things come up in life. But say you had those three people and one person doesn't show it's not a waste of your time because you still have those other two people there. So you're not just planning, preparing, getting ready, and then having a no show with a client because that's super annoying. <laughs> well, and it's super annoying, not only for like for your bottom line, but for you, you feel less yeah. inspired about it. So like even for us, so when we, like I was saying, when we first were getting, mm -hmm. getting certified, it was like the personal training certification or the group fitness certification. We end up going with the personal training certification, but then from there started doing group fitness because um, we were personal training and realizing all of these things. Like I was charging $75 an hour for personal training, but then I also had, when I started teaching group fitness, we, well, we, I, we talked about the story before, we actually were in a fitness class doing sit-ups at nighttime yeah. And we, this is when like the light, when I said we had the moment where like, holy crap, we are doing this all wrong because we literally were in this class with 20 women who had all paid $20 for the class. And we started counting and going around and being like, okay, hold on a second. We paid 20, so 40 bucks for you and I, and then like time. So she's making $400 for this hour. $400. Same hour. <laughs> the same hour that I, and I was charging $75, which was more than most people were charging. Yeah. But I still had to go there. I still, cause I was in home. I still had to like, you know what I mean? Like travel. I didn't get paid for travel. Sometimes things would get canceled, but like, then you have, so we're like $400. We're like, and these workouts are very similar to our in-home personal training because, well, the way we wanted to develop them, because we were doing high intensity intervals, mixture of strength and cardio. Mm -hmm. Um, so it was total body workouts, really efficient, really effective. And we're like, holy crap, we need to totally shift our business model and our approach. And in that yeah. moment, as soon as we saw that, we we're like, we need to do this. We're opening, like we're going back. We're thinking about this. Then it came down to, okay, what are we going to call it? Then Fitrix was born. So yeah. it was like this insane kind of like, oh my gosh. And I think a lot of people still, like I said earlier, that battle, people think personal trainers, because I always think of your personal training should be like your highest level. It's your platinum, right? Because they get that one hour with you as opposed yeah. to thinking about like what everyone else is charging. Like that's how I always think about now. So if I was doing a personal training session, I would probably be charging like a ridiculous amount of money. Actually I would be because I know yeah. what a, an hour of my time is valued at. Right. Yeah, exactly. But it's like, so I think in group fitness, you're giving the same experience, but of course on a bit of a lesser level because there's more people. So you can still charge as much. And of course, depending on people's goals, but 
If you have that misconception that you think you can't make money doing group fitness, you need to get this out of your mind right now. If you're thinking about getting certified and you're not, the thing that's great with like, with our program, our fitness nutrition expert program, you actually get certified as both. So you yeah. can do the group fitness and then still, if you love personal training, you can compliment or you could charge that platinum rate for it. Mm-hmm. But you but still have both of those. Your business and your like, and your money opportunity with group fitness. And like, yeah. and the thing is, is that I think, you know, like what I said in the very beginning, I think that the whole thing that people get stuck on is the idea of like, well, I can only make $20 an hour because they're thinking about it from a gym perspective. They're thinking about working for someone else versus working for themselves because they think, and and that is true. If you're working for most gyms, they, they pay their trainers about $20 an hour. But the thing is, is that that's how much they pay for personal training as well. So you're kind of like in this stuff. So this is going to, let's just talk about that next misconception because I'm kind of diving into it already, but it's like this whole idea of like, you have to work in the gym. But then, you know, I just want to finish this thought. It's like, if, if that's your belief, if your misconception is that, oh, well, if I'm, I can only make $20 an hour teaching group fitness, it's like, yeah, that is absolutely true. But only if you're working at a gym. So you need to get rid of that mindset and think, okay, but I have the possibility is that I could make $400 an hour if I charge $20 a class and I have 20 people, which is not that many people, guys. And it's not like, does not seem do. So even if you're yeah. like, oh, I couldn't get 20 people, even if you think, okay, 10 people, for $200? Yeah, $200. Doesn't that sound better. like... It like, trumps $50 an hour as a personal trainer all day, every day. I would trade you $50 for $200 every day, all day, yeah, and twice on Sunday. <laughs> so, so that leads us into misconception number two, is that you think that you have to work at a gym. So a lot of people yeah. want to get certified, but they're not gym people. And that's what happened to us. So now yeah. I work out more too in a gym. Like... But before, when I first started in this industry, I always attended group fitness classes, but then I was supposed to be a personal trainer that was like training in the gym. Like I went into weights later on and now I incorporate both in my life. But yeah. like this idea that you have to work at like, you know, whether it be a big box gym or a small gym or these, these ones that are more like the boutique where they teach specific like F45 or whatever. The thing that's great about these, these programs, obviously, is they've created the program. They do the marketing. They do, they take the payment. But then yeah. you're basically paying for that out of your rate, right? So yeah. really when you're taking on that $25, it's because even though you think oh, I don't want to pay for that stuff, you already are. Because if you yeah. could have charged $200, you're only taking home 25, you could have gotten like done the marketing, run your business, pay for a permit, done all that stuff a lot cheaper, right? For so, sure. so I think, and the other thing too, and I know you have lots to say about this as well, um, mm-hmm. is that when this idea of feeling like you have to work in the gym, people, the way that we are training now and the way that people want to work out has completely changed. It's completely Mm -hmm. changed. Even from when we started fit chicks. Now people want more access to online training. They want to be able to see their trainers virtually like this. Like if you're watching our video, they want to be able to like people are busy and you've got to have the skill set to be able to meet them where they're at. And so I feel like there's so much opportunity that is outside of the gym. There's actually more opportunity, I think, outside of the gym than going to work at a gym. Yeah. Because big box gyms are not set up to create community. They don't yeah. create community. They don't get people coming back. They, they feel like a number. And you're going to have a hard time to keep getting people in your classes. And also for you, you're not going to feel fulfilled mm-hmm. if you're someone who has a mission that you want to get out there too. For sure. And I think you know, to add to that, I think the whole idea is that some people have is this fear. And this is a rightful fear is that if I go work at a gym, I'm going to be spending more time selling packages than training people. And I've heard this from a lot of trainers that work at big box gyms, that that's kind of what ends up happening. And so it kind of like steals your passion and your thunder a little bit, right? Because you're kind of like, okay, I'm going to win. I'm going to make impact. I'm going to work with all these people. And then you're like, oh wait, I'm spending six of my eight hours on the floor, just trying to sell people on packages versus training them, you know, and when I train them, some of the gyms, they have like specific formats that you have to follow. They give you the plan that you have to follow. You don't even get to be creative. And so you kind of feel like tied into this, like this thing that like, maybe you didn't even really want to sign up for in the first place. Like, you know what I mean? Like, it's kind of like, that's not what your expectation was. So if your misconception is that you have to work in a gym, you definitely don't have to, you have so many opportunities like virtual, like you said too, you know, they say that, um, and from consumer buying behavior is the number one reason that people purchase anything in today's society in today's day and age is convenience. 
It is the number one driving factor to a purchase decision. And so what that means, guys, listening is that people will buy, like when you're like, oh, but who wants an online trainer? So many people because yeah. they want the convenience of being able to do it from home and not have to train and not have to go to like, you know, pay for parking or do all these things and all that kind of like, they want to just be able to fit it into their schedule. That's why people will buy a gym membership at the gym that's across the street from their house. Not because they like that gym, but it's because it's across the street. They yeah. will buy at home training programs because of the convenience factor. So don't let the idea of like, you have to work in a gym and this is only where people train be like, be your truth. Cause it's not true at all. Well, and a big misconception. The thing is so interesting too. Like even with our fitness and nutrition experts, a lot, because we run a, um, a virtual certification, right? It's all online. Yeah. So you can join from anywhere in the world. The thing that I have loved seeing is these smaller communities that don't yeah. even have big box gyms. Now yeah. we have these amazing women who are getting certified and they're suddenly creating these fitness programs in their community, in their homes, in, in their, their homes, churches. in their churches, in their parks, yeah. places that now they're bringing health and movement and like this new fire to their communities that, you know, they would have to drive an hour to get to a gym. Okay. Like one of our grads is from the Northwest Territories, which yeah. um, is in Canada. In Canada. Which, I always think it's like North Pole. Like it's like, if you want to think yeah. of how far it is, it's like, it's like the North Pole. It's like, you almost feel like it doesn't exist. Sorry for anyone who lives in the Northwest Territories. <laughs> it's beautiful up there. It's beautiful. It is beautiful. There. I'm just, I'm just joking about like the, the distance of like, when I think about it, I know it's not that North. But well, and for her, she, <laughs> yeah, she like was working for the one gym that was there. And then now she's created her own thing and she's running online programs and doing all this awesome stuff. So yeah. like, I think that that's one thing, like, cause even if you're like, I would love to do that, but like, I got nothing around me. You can create it. You can create something that never existed. Like, especially if it doesn't never exist. existed. Yeah. It's, and that's what makes it even better. Especially if it doesn't exist, then it's like, oh my gosh, like you have such a, like such an opportunity to, like if you're like, oh, but nothing like that exists in my community. Amazing. Because then that's like, this is your opportunity to actually create that and bring that to your community and give that gift of health to your community and to your people and like show them possibility as opposed yeah. to them just thinking, well, that doesn't exist. Right. Well, and like keeping that limited state. Exactly. So that's misconception number two. Misconception number three is that you have to, as a fitness trainer, you have to create all of your own programming. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So many people believe that they feel like it's like, it's, you know, it's like, you have to be the creator. You have to be like the person, the source, but think about it. Like think about so many artists out there, like Lady Gaga. I know she writes a lot of her music, but she doesn't write all of it. Ariana yeah. Grande, same thing. Like all these like amazing, like pop singers and like musicians. That well, are even Megan Trainer, like Megan Trainer wrote, I think it was one of Beyonce's songs. Like she had been a writer for so long behind the scenes and like big names singing her songs and no one knew who she was. Yeah. But they, she created this amazing material and they were the one who delivered it. Exactly. Exactly. So when you think about like, I know that, you know, I do talk to a lot of um, health professionals and they're like, oh, but I really want to. It's like, it's so exciting. It's so fun. And I get that. I get that wholeheartedly because we did the same thing when we were starting Fit Chicks. Like for 10 years, I was writing workouts for all of our yeah. bootcamp programs all the time. And we changed guys, we changed our workout every single class. We never repeated the same class twice. So do you know how many workouts I've written in my lifetime? Yeah. It's like, was well, it with me? I know it like, like blows my mind when I think about it. Right. Like it's like craziness, but it's so crazy. Cause I literally could like write a workout in like right now. six minutes. Yeah. <laughs> and teach it like I, or I could, I've taught before on the fly where I, some, one of oh, our, but trainers, we don't recommend that. No, no, no. But one <laughs> of the, because obviously I've done it for so long, but one of our trainers would be sick and like my phone was dead. I didn't have access to like the workout we were going to do. And I'm like, okay, I know, I know them in my mind. Cause I write so yeah. many of them. It's like, boom, boom, boom. Yeah. But the thing is, is that like, and I get that you want to, cause it is fun. It is like, and it's part of the process of being creative and unique and everything else, but sometimes you don't have time. And that's why, like when you were saying like, we have like this vault, this library of workouts that we have built. So every time we would write one and like, it was a good one, we would like put it in the vault. Cause then we had this vault to pull from. Cause then I was like, okay, like, oh my gosh, today got really ahead of me. I don't have a lot of time to like write this or whatever. Like I got to drive. I got stuck in traffic. I didn't have time to think about the workout. Like we had this vault to pull from, but so many times you're just like, it adds so much time 
writing all your workouts, creating all your content, all that stuff adds so much time to your day. And like, and realistically, like if you can find a good producer of material like musicians do with writers, you can still perform it in your own way. You can still put it in your personality, put your spin on it, make it yours, make it your own, but have the template given to you so that you don't have to spend those hours doing the research and watching YouTube videos and doing all stuff that we nerd out on and do all the time. (laughs) (laughs) <laughs> but that's it was so and even like it's it's for both group fitness and personal training I mean you can mm-hmm. take because of course personal training you do want to be more personal with your clients that's what they're paying for sure. you for is their specific results and group fitness yeah like if you're giving cookie cutter for personal training but you can still also take uh, it's not the best unless, no, they, can take, unless it's group like it's yeah. group you can take inspiration or you can take a workout and tweak it obviously to the needs of your client. But especially when it comes to group fitness programs, like there, like Amanda said, we have spent 10 years. We have hundreds of workouts in the vault. So I would go as far as to say that. <laughs> well, and this is one of the so reasons many. why even for, um, with our fitness and nutrition expert program, we actually have a bonus, which is called our complete boot camp bundle. Um, yeah. and it is literally giving, our grads a done for you like it's our business model, model. it's yeah. literally our fitchix business handed to them to be like okay when you graduate and you get certified you don't have to spend like weeks trying to figure it out to figure out what works what yeah. doesn't trying to write the workouts trying to figure out when you should be sending emails when you should be running weekly challenges how to engage outside of class all those things because that stuff takes a long time it took us years to figure out to figure yeah. it, to perfect it to make it so that it was like a system that made sense it took us years and then when we finally figured it out it was like oh my gosh let's just stick to this exact system because we know it works and well then- and you also need to know you need time as well to focus on, of course, your clients, which is what, like you were saying earlier in our misconception number two, people want to become trainers because they want to train. They want to make impact. They want to help people. They want to help and motivate people, help people get healthier. And all of the times that you spend doing the things like writing the workouts, even though of course some of us really enjoy it, but in the beginning, especially, and that's why we give it to our new grads. We're like, if they get the, um, that if they qualify for that bonus, we give it to our new grads because we're like, right now your focus needs to be on getting clients in, delivering in a way that you like, you know what I mean? Building up your, your, your clientele, building up your confidence, getting yeah. your name out there. Every second that you're spending on writing workouts is taking away from that focus. So we want to literally just take that whole stress off of you. Yeah. Here are amazing workouts that we have tried with tens of thousands of women they and work. the plan behind it that supports the workout, yeah. which is the big, which is the big part, not just the workouts, it's the plan too. Well, it's the social how media, to it's how to email your clients, how to build a community, which is what people, like you were saying how the number one thing people buy on is convenience. The number also with that though, people buy an emotion. Yeah. They buy an emotion because they want to feel, everyone wants to feel a part of something. They don't want to feel alone. Mm-hmm. And they, they, the community part of it is huge value. It's huge value, but many trainers, they don't know how to moderate a community. They don't know how to build it. They don't know how to be the leader of it. Or they don't even know that they need it. Yeah. They'll just show up and teach a class, which is a part that it ends up, that's where a lot of trainers struggle and their businesses struggle because they haven't built that community. They haven't built that identity with their clients. They haven't built that like connection. And without that connection in class and outside of class, it yeah. becomes just the class. It does. It's not a community. And then it's like, mm, I can go to any class, right? Versus yeah. when you have a community, they know they can't go anywhere else to get what it is that you're giving. Exactly. So yeah. this is where guys, we just wanted to, blast through some of the misconceptions, Mm -hmm. which we hope that we did. Um, because one of our major goals, like we always say one of our major goals is to get women unstuck, get them out of your own way. Mm -hmm. But also we want to give you guys the, the possibility and we want to help you create your best life. We want you to, and we want to build a healthier world. We want you guys to get certified and we want you to, to create a business you love and make a ton of money to support yourself. So you don't have to worry about, you can focus on just helping people and making people healthier and waking up every day with passion and purpose. So for us, if we can give you guys any insight from, especially from our journey too, 
of how you can do this, we want to help you. So also, if we didn't cover some, a misconception or you're thinking something or there's something that's still in your mind, email us, info at mm -hmm. Let us know because we'd love to talk about it. Definitely. For sure. And again, as Laura mentioned in the beginning, um, if you are interested in getting certified with us and joining our fitness and nutrition expert certification program, the next program does start on March 27th. So there's still time, but not a lot of time. So don't wait. And, you know, I always think like some people are like, well, maybe I'll do it next time. You know, the thing is we only run this time, this program two times a year, because yeah. during the time that we are running it, we are so hyper-focused on the group that's in because we're so dedicated to them reaching their goals, which is getting certified to build healthier communities around the world. And so we only run it two times a year. And I always say like, if you wait till the next semester, if you took this one, you'd already be certified before that. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. if it's like, like why wait till the fall? What are you waiting for? You be graduating before the fall. You could be helping people before the fall. Why wait to even get started then? So just go for it. So yeah, so you totally. can join us. Um, check it out at fitchicksacademy.com where um, you can read more information about the Fitness and Nutrition Expert Program. And we also have an awesome live info sessions running every single week. So um, mm -hmm. you can jump on one of those if you have any specific questions. They're live with Amanda. So she'll be taking you through yeah. the behind the scenes. So it's fitchicksacademy.com <laughs> forward slash info session for that. And you can grab your free seat and come and find out all the goodness that this program has. Awesome. Okay, guys, have an amazing day. Thank and you for listening. And we will see you and talk to you next week. Bye. Bye.